do that. I think I'll, um, once I cut my hole out of my piece that I'm going to put on my card, I think I'm going to attach the vanilla piece just in case. I might attach it. Um, let's see, I haven't got enough there. Just so that that looks a bit like others have been doing yellow windows. And thought, oh, the only time a window actually looks yellow is when the sun's shining in it. Doesn't look, I mean, you look out the window, it's clear to me. As long as they're clean, you can see a bit of blue sky, I guess. But, so mine are going to be just just a glassy consistency because they're nice clean windows unlike mine <laughs> you time to clean them soon so that will just give that little bit of sparkle and as long as I remember where I put it I put it there next to the bin and um, mounting up some stamps so First things first, I went ahead and cut out using the, just explain all the steps because there's rather a lot to this card, rather a lot of times that you have to cut the window set. Firstly, I thought I could just cut, and I probably could from where my, my wisteria um, landed, but you have to... Firstly, I just cut a piece that went there, but then I realised I needed the top part too, so I had to go back and cut a top part as well. So I ran that through, and I wanted, because my windows are cream, so I wanted vanilla there, so I've done that one. That one, I've ran that through again. You can see why I did things earlier. And I think that's about all. Oh. So that was that was once with the vellum, once with the very vanilla, and once with the Cajun craze. But I didn't need to cut this out of the Cajun craze. Well, I don't think I did. It's right here if I need it. So I can pop that away. And now I need the. So it's important to get all these steps in order. If you're wanting to use your brick and mortar embossing folder you want to do you want to do your die cutting first because if you if you emboss this first and then go to die cut you're going to flatten your beautiful embossing so we're going to pop that on there this is one of my favorite embossing folders and that just goes on the platform and you either use your grey or your blue. That's why that's got a blue on it. That's how old this embossing folder is. And I hope Stampin' Up! never retire it. They will eventually because I just love it. <clears throat> so I'll be back in a sec. only Rhonda here. Oh Denise, hi. Hi Denise, hi Maria. You found me. Yeah, I'm sorry we had a bit of a hiccup because Facebook's acting weird again. I'm just going to grab a piece of scrap paper because I'm going to do, I was laying in bed wondering how I was going to colour the bricks and I watch Jackie Williams this morning or this afternoon and I, she did a technique that I'd forgotten about so that's what I'm going to use I'm just going to pop that away if I can so I haven't got stuff everywhere so if it goes the other way of course it does 
been one of those days today. Put that away. All right. And I'll just explain what I've done here. First off, I thought, uh, well, my bricks are kind of like this, so I'll use early espresso. And then I thought, oh, that might be a bit dark. So, of course, I've got to try everything, haven't I? So I went to Soft Suede. I think that one's Soft Suede. And then I tried... No, that's, that's Cajun Craze on Cajun Craze, I think. Yeah, because I've got two different ones here. One of these is Crumb Cake and one of these is Sahara Sand. I think... I've forgotten which is which now. <laughs> I knew I would do that. <laughs> anyway, I decided I'll stick with what Jackie did and use the same colour. So all she did was just gently go across. You don't have to do every brick. Just get that effect. Probably if I go again, I'm probably going to do too much, aren't I? So there's that. And then normally, I would put, let me just see what I want to do here. Yeah, I need to put that there. So I need to, I think I need this, I'm not sure. But I might just um, I'll just put some adhesive. Oops. Either end of this, and if we don't think we need it, uh, come on. I might be able to easily get it off. And give myself overly much there. I want to actually eventually pop that up so let's grab our silicon mat because I've got glue on the sides of that. So then that. Oh, I know. I put, I'll put that in first. And then I did just put a little bit of glue around the edges of my vellum. Because the window, the other piece is going over the top, okay? And this does curl up a little bit, but that's okay. So if I just get some glue happening, not too, too much. And hopefully my frame will hide the glue. on my other one so just come on be able to see if that actually might stick a couple 
the blocks on there so that it sticks down while I'm getting the glue on here. Just making sure that's yeah, that's the right way up. My eyes are so bad at the moment. Gone to my less less strong glasses, my old pair to see if see if it makes any difference. Because I've left it so long to make an appointment, I can't get in till September. That's my bad, my fault. Entirely. I don't think I've missed anything. Yeah. I definitely think the background here. I think I'm glad, I'll, I'll be glad that I put the vanilla behind there because otherwise we'd be looking at a dark window, I feel. So then next up is, is what? Get some scrap paper, actually put that onto there. So I went ahead and I cut I got to cut the wisteria leaves. I've only done one like that. And then I grabbed the the wisteria stamp. Just to add a bit of interest. I've got my uh, shaded spruce. Stamp. Making sure I'm inking that up. Hmm. Seemed like it wanted to ink up. I've got green on the outside of that. Now just to add a little bit of interest, bit of contrast. You don't have it all over the leaves, just be on the bit on the stem just like that just gives adds a little bit of something something so that's um, colors are shaded spruce and parakeet party thought we'd brighten things up tonight the one that I did first my sample one isn't as bright and then it's um, actually going to need to pinch that back again. What I want to show you here is I was having trouble getting these wisteria stamped properly. So I decided I would die cut them. I did clean that, didn't I? Yes. I don't want green wisteria. I decided I'd die cut them and then stamp them. Now, what have I done with my stamp? Here it is. So I'm using Tahitian Tide. Maybe they need to be inked up. Just making sure I've got that. And I'm going to go over the top because I found... Sorry if my head's getting in the road. Um, just stamp it first and then talk, Cheryl. That's good. I found that I was getting this business, which I think I can fix now. I think I've done... Let's do another one, because that's not quite... I haven't. I was afraid of this as the light go night goes on, my eyes get worse. So trying to line up the points of these. I have already done a couple, just in case that one's better. See, see where I went off that one a bit. Just 
close that one up. And then over the top of that, I did the Orchid Oasis. So I do believe Wisteria can be blue, it can be purple, and it can be white. So let's see how we do with this. I'm going to get it in the points. And I just felt that maybe doing it this way, if you didn't quite get it lined up, if you went a bit, we'll see if it works with this one. If it won't, we'll, we'll toss it. If we went a bit wrong, we could then stamp over that way a bit. See that? And then it doesn't look quite as bad. And I'm having trouble lining that up. Let's see, I think that's fine. Just clean up these as I go. straight into their scrub or their chamois without stamping off and I I catch my breath every time I see it <laughs> now we've got our got our leaves done just got to work out where we want to position them now so I've got to do I might use a better one than that. I oh, don't know that that is better. Another one in there. I've got a few. could probably use the worst one underneath. But the trouble is it'll be showing as well. So we may not want it exactly over the window. On my first one I didn't pop up the leaves, the leaves, the wisteria, but I thought I might tonight. Where do I want that? And which is the best one? This one, I think. But you kind of got to stagger them a little bit. If I do that, now to remember where I had that, probably best to put the first one on first. I'm just going to use glue for that. Bit of glue, come here. You could stamp these as well. This is one of my favourite sets. It's the one I did the Christmas trees a while ago. It's actually the last one I did for a while, apart from last week. Last live, I mean. Not sure if I can stagger them. Haven't tried it, so I'm not too sure. I think I need to have that on first. I did think I'd remember I only did this card yesterday. I mean, the other one, not this one. Of course, I'm doing it now, aren't I? Maybe 
and when I line that up there, yeah, maybe that's what we want to do. We'll try that anyway. Kind of winging it a bit here. No two cards are the same, are they? Even if you start out to copy your own design. So I thought, oops, don't put that there. thought if I kind of follow. the line of that not too sure whether I can yeah maybe I'll put the first ones down whoops we just just glue them down and then to be sure where I want them, won't I? Where's my little... can't see that. Then I should be able to pop that one up. Got anyone else I haven't said hello to? Hi Rita. Hi Belinda. How you going? Hi Linda. Hi Sharon. Hi Gail. Looking to see which is the best one. I think they're all pretty much all the same. Yeah, I reckon if I pop that one up, that'll you'll just be able to see the difference because I didn't pop my first one up, I just stuck them down flat. So I figured there was enough dimension in the card. I did um, pop up the card front with dimensionals. So we put a big one and a little one there. Yet. I've got, oh, need to need to dimension this onto the card base. And I think that adhesive will be enough to secure that white, well, not white, the vanilla piece to. Oops, sticking all over my. Fingers there. I might just put one. I should have. Can't get it off. Should have put it to the side. So it kind of does work to secure that if it happens to want to come astray. overkill with dimensionals much anyway it's not going to go anywhere so let's hope I'll we'll get it straight hey make sure my cards facing the right way until I get you right. A little bit forgiving if you've got mine's a little bit a little bit to one side but it's a little bit forgiving when you've now I've done I will show you how I did these but because I'm going to put a tree on the inside 
Now I haven't raised anything up there, so I'll just show you the colours. I did show you last week, but you can see that I I forgot to do the um, the dark first. I did the light first, and I can never, because I'm hopeless, I can never get them lined up the two step stamps if I, unless I do the dark first. Now this one has got. I was going to use that. What did I do with that? I left them in the dies because I knew I wouldn't be able to find them otherwise. Oh, and I've got to find him as well. So if you didn't know already, these little things here, they're tree stumps. So you can ground your trees. There isn't, as far as I know, there isn't a stamp that matches that. No, although you could cut off the bottom of the... You could cut off the bottom of this, I guess. Just didn't know if I'd need that, and I did that in early espresso. Should not have had that on there if I was going to do that, should I? And I wasn't sure if we wanted a little dog there as well. He does look cute, so we might grab some glue for our tree. Where do I want the tree? Hmm. Maybe I haven't got room for this tree trunk. Tree can go over the tree trunk. Very tiny this is. Very tiny. If I put that right down the bottom, I don't want the. Oops, it's crooked. Stick. Not to my finger. We bring that needs to be just as well it didn't stick, it's too far over. Almost meeting in the middle. <laughs> Not that I want wisteria on my house, I don't think. Um now he's running away. I had him running towards the tree, but He's just done what dogs do to trees, I think, this one, and he's running away. And uh, I have um, stamped and die cut him. I didn't think you'd want to see me do that. And he's in crumb cake. Now that's sticking out sticking out bit of overkill here too you wouldn't necessarily have to put him on get off dimensionals there he is he's running away now I have some questions to ask you I should have got right around asking you before them in my stash. I had to go and cut them again because I can do the inside while I'm while you're thinking about it. Now I've probably got too many questions for you. I was like, normally I would do the embossing in white, but because I've got vanilla, I 
put it in and that's shaded spruce so these are our options I went crazy hmm. not so crazy And I wasn't sure if we had copper embossing powder still, but I think we do. So that's the purple, the um, orchid oasis. So look at that. I'm not really liking that. I don't know what you guys think. I don't mind that. I actually don't mind that with no embossing if I sponged around it. I wasn't a fan of that when I did it, but it's actually not bad. You have to finish the card before you decide. Or we could have the crumb cake, which matches the, matches the dog. I'll let you decide. You can tell me which one you like. Maybe I'll... Maybe I'll put them all here. So you can see those while I do the inside and the envelope. Let's make sure there's nothing in there. So for those, I used for the inside of the tree, just like last week. This time it's in shaded spruce and I'm going down the bottom of the tree because I don't have a trunk but the bottom of the tree the bottom of the card so I don't have a tree trunk I think we'll go this side for the solid part of the tree I'm going to have I want to put that inside first so let's do this one we're going to have uh, an ink on there parakeet party gorgeous is that I just can't get over how gorgeous these trees are and then I love trees I think I've bought practically every tree set we've ever had no I'm exaggerating some I don't you can't buy everything can you that's a little bit off but that's okay now I'll clean them what have you decided green vanilla we've got how many Sharon says vanilla Gail says vanilla Rhonda and Maria say but vanilla um, Denise says light green we do Denise's say light green Linda had a vote. She might have gone away. So we need a tiebreaker. Belinda or Rita, can you help us out? Light, so it's down to light green or vanilla. Which is parakeet party. doesn't look very clean. That 
Espera. Sometimes you've got to give them an extra rub. And we'll pop the inside piece in. So these ones are these ones are out. Still going on at this mark from the last snail, I think. I'm not sure. Is about light green. Okay, the light greens have it. I think either one would look fine. I just like to complicate matters, don't I? You can see my embossing wasn't too good on the other side. I had all brown blotches, but that's why cardstock has got two sides, isn't it? And you could also put a straight greeting across there, a banner or something. I just really like my circles. And we need, I also, this remind, Jackie also reminded me about our brass butterflies. I always forget about them, so I thought, well, they'll go fairly nicely. So I didn't have anything on my first one. So I went and fixed that and put some butterflies on there so I do honestly I forget that I've got them um, don't want them on oh, I can put it on there it's gonna say it might disappear on there but it's fine trouble is I use more little ones than I do big ones It's nearly the same colour as my copper there. Yeah. Maybe I can get a big one. Come here. You don't like me. Where did I put that one? I'll just put that one there. Okay, and then we could... We could um, use a bit of wink on our wisteria I'll just put that up the other way so you can see that properly this silly old Facebook I hope they fix it soon there we go and this is my original one This one was done in, <clears throat> I actually sponged this one, I had a brain, brain wave, so shall we say, and I thought, it needs to be a bit darker, how can I get that effect? So if I'd done that on that, that would have improved that one, so that's the soft, soft succulent, the green is, it's, um, you probably can't really see, it's white brick. Um, this is Evening Evergreen, Evening Evergreen and Soft Sea Foam. This is Fresh Freesia, um, Highland Heather on Fresh Freesia. Okay, so I don't know which is your favourite. They're both totally different in the colouring makes them totally different. So that's your lot for tonight and I'm starting to get a headache so I need to go and um, have a have a rest all right thanks very much for watching thanks Sharon oh no I haven't finished yet Sharon Miss Sharon hang on <coughs> we're having a class tomorrow the first one since oh since May since my launch in May 
and Miss Sharon is my best customer. She's supported me through thick and thin. She's put orders in whether I'm doing classes or not. So that is your gift tomorrow when you come to class, Sharon. It's um, the... Now she doesn't even know what it is. Santa Express Memories and More card pack. So you can look up what that is. It's cards... I think, hang on, Let's see what it actually is, page 17, and some of you guys haven't even picked up your catalogues yet, it's on, yeah, so it's this, it is, Father Nymph Labs, it's number, it's number five. So 54 double-sided cards in three inches and four inches. Two sticker sheets, sheets and four acetate overlays and two laser cut sheets. So that is your gift for being such a loyal and good customer that I don't even need to have a class you to put in an order which is it's I'm very grateful for that Sharon so okay so thank you thank you everybody that's watched tonight yes congrats Sharon yeah okay and I'll see some of you tomorrow we've got just a little group for a class tomorrow and I hoped to have costed out my Christmas workshop, hopefully it'll be in August because it's to take advantage of um, celebration. So hopefully I'll get, I didn't get to it today, but hopefully I'll get it, get to it in the morning and I'll be able to give you more details. Thanks everyone. Bye-bye for now.